In this video, we'll be looking at depreciation in its three main forms. That's flat rate depreciation, reducing balance depreciation, and unit cost depreciation. For flat rate depreciation, we're taking the same amount from the value of the item every single month or however often it depreciates. That's an arithmetic sequence and it's basically the same principle as simple interest, just in reverse. Unit cost depreciation is very simple. Basically, every time an item or whatever is used, it depreciates by a certain amount. The classic example is a printer, okay? For every sheet printed, it loses a certain amount. It might be like 10 cents, but it still loses that amount. And so we have to just multiply the amount of the unit cost, okay? So every time it's printed, it costs 10 cents. We multiply that 10 cents by however many times it's been used, and that's the amount that we're depreciating the item by. Reducing balance depreciation is kind of like compound interest. So there's a percentage by which the item is depreciated by every single like compounding period, so whether that be month or, or year, and that amount is calculated on a changing principle. So it's by whatever the last period's uh, value of the item was, we multiply that percentage by, by that amount in order to find our reducing balance depreciation. Something to be careful of in depreciation questions is the wording. We have to read these questions very closely, as with any question, because these are specifically designed to trick you. Sometimes they'll ask for the amount of depreciation, and so we just have to give that figure, or it might be the value of the item after a certain amount of time. So we have to be very careful that we're answering exactly what the question is asking. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.